Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. And this is gonna be a first for Cajuns Across America. It's gonna be my first movie review. Now, those of you that follow me on Facebook know I'm a Gen Xer. I was born in the early 70s. When I was a kid, wrestling was the thing. I loved watching wrestling and growing up in Louisiana, it was WCW. And the movie I'm gonna be reviewing is The Iron Claw about the Von Erich family. And back in the day, in the 70s, wrestling was regional. Before the WWF and now WWE, before they controlled everything, it was like regional federations. And growing up in Louisiana, our little regional wrestling federation was a WCW, World Championship Wrestling. And that's where the Von Erichs wrestled, and Ric Flair, and the fabulous Freebirds, the GOATs of wrestling and they were out of texas and they toured the gulf south so growing up i was a big von eric fan especially carrie von eric i love the fabulous free birds and rick flair so this is going to be a treat for me and this movie was actually filmed in baton rouge louisiana so about a year or so ago it was leaked in the local news that Zac Efron and all them were in town and they were filming the Iron Claw about the Von Erich wrestling family. So I've been amped up to see this for a long time. It's gonna bring back a lot of really good childhood memories. And I'm about to step in I'm gonna, I'm gonna come out and I'm gonna review it. So there's gonna probably be some spoilers in this. Uh, I have been critical of one aspect of the movie uh so far and i'll discuss that after the review but let me get inside and watch this movie that i've been waiting for for over a year time I'm walking out of the theater just got finished watching the movie and uh, well where to begin uh, first off uh, the movie far exceeded my expectations uh, that was a really 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 good movie uh, and I just didn't think it would be that good I knew I had hopes that it would be good but uh, it was really really great um uh where to begin uh, let's start with the cast of characters one thing uh i had been very vocal about is uh the casting of carrie von eric i uh, didn't uh jeremy allen white is a very good actor he's the uh, he's the star of the bear tv series and i love that show he's a fantastic actor but my biggest criticism is he didn't have Carrie's stature or physique, but his acting ability, you know, he really sold sold the character as Carrie Von Erich. Uh, his facial features and hair and his acting ability, I mean, he won me over as far as Carrie goes. And uh, gotta talk about Zac Efron, I mean, as Kevin Von Eric, oh my gosh, I mean, Zach must have been working out and training hard for a long time. He put on some muscle that, I mean, he was jacked and he was ripped. I mean, he was so vascular. I mean, he veins everywhere, chest, shoulders, arms. Zach Efron looked amazing. He must have put in the work. So, uh, and he played a very good Kevin Von Eric. The the brothers, you know, David and Mike. The casting uh, was just really good. And spoiler alert: yes, Ric Flair is in it. Uh, the character, the actor that played Ric Flair, did a pretty good job. Uh, he didn't get the woo exactly right, but uh, he did. He he made a, a fairly decent Ric Flair. 
uh the fabulous free birds were in it and i mean they look great uh the only complaint really about the free birds is they didn't have their signature rebel flag confederate flag you know costumes on but i understand that's real controversial and they didn't want to you know upset anyone or any kind of cancel you know the movie being canceled or boycotted so i can understand that but for nostalgia reasons it would have been cool to see the free birds out in their rebel flag costumes and they had a, like i said so it's a spoiler casting oh god the actor that played harley race oh my god he looks so much like him i mean and the wrestling was great uh another spoiler they had a very very good video montage uh musical video montage with rush's tom sawyer uh that was you know devon erics were known for playing tom sawyer in their entrance music so it was that was that was really cool um there were some things that weren't accurate uh one of the things uh, kind of big spoiler but it is a movie toward the end kevin did not find carrie's body after he committed suicide fritz the father actually was the one that discovered carrie's body and that he had committed suicide but it is a movie and that was kind of a touching moment they kind of had to put it in there and i'm not going to spoil this but the scene after kevin found carrie that was just wow it, it kind of choked me up a little bit but this is a fantastic wrestling movie i mean i'd put it right there with the wrestler with mickey rourke uh if you guys have seen that that i mean that was a really good wrestling movie it showed kind of the real kind of how the world of wrestling but this movie was much more than a wrestling movie i mean it was a movie about family about the von erics and the tragedy that family went through uh so yeah it's it's a wrestling movie but you know it, it's more than that it's something you guys if you're not a wrestling fan i suggest you go see it well that's gonna be it for this movie review video if you like this video please give me a thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications i would appreciate the support and it would help me out a lot with the algorithm also if you like this movie review video please leave me a comment down below i'd love to hear from you and your thoughts and if you'd like me to do more of these but that's it that's going to close this one out and i'm going to end it the way i always end it like we say in louisiana les ailes bon temps roulé let the good times roll thanks for watching and i'll see you next time at the movies